Good evening, Speed Gaming, and welcome to this exciting presentation of the 2024 Super Metroid Dash Mystery Tournament. Tonight, we have Crazed Gamer on the left versus j -Row on the right. This is week six of Swiss. Unfortunately for Crazed, the this is the tournament is already over. This will be his last race, being one in four. j -Row on the bubble at two and three has a chance to squeak into brackets with a win tonight but crazed ever the gamer hopes to play spoiler to that i am j the adam i will be joined shortly in the booth by wx fan 21 also known as adam and i have just Zooks, the greatest super metroid tracker of all time here tracking for us today I would ask WX how he's doing, but he's not up here yet. So, chat, how is everybody out there doing? Are we pumped and excited for this race? Dementive, thank you for sounding in for uh, Mr. F Junk Dump. We appreciate that. We are on Criteria. We do not have full countdown. We have a regular charge beam other mo parts of this mode to be determined. It could be Major, Minor, or Chozo for the item split. And we have no idea what the bo bosses are going to be like tonight. We have both runners making their way down to the Morph Pedestal, and this is the first of many opportunities for me to say we're about to watch an exciting race, so give the runners a follow. If we get it out of the way early, I don't have to say it as much later. And I am joined by WXFan21. Adam, how are you doing? Shh. Shh. Oh, what? Another commentary game? It's only like I've been doing this for the past six hours. What's up, Adam? Yo, I'm just happy to have a COCOM because it is really hard to call out absolutely everything that is happening on both screens. We have absolutely. them both in the elevator down. We're about to find out our mode, potentially more fall on the more pedestal. We still don't know. Nope, not a clue. So we got more fall. And for those that have never seen a Dash Rando mystery tournament, first of all, welcome. Second of all, there are three modes we can go to. It's full countdown, Chozo, or major minor. Up at the top right of the racer screens, you see crate you see CA for criteria. 60 is the amount of damage, and j -Row finds Oh Bobo. boy! It's Chozo. it's Chozo. Adam, what does that mean, Chozo? Uh, it means that it's uh Actually, most likely Chozo. There is still one wrinkle situation where it could not be Chozo, but we won't go into that too far. Uh, Chozo means that all of our major items or all of our items that we need to beat the game will appear on the Chozo statues throughout Planet Zebus. If we go to every Chozo statue and pick up everything that's on them, we will have all of the equipment required to beat the game. So, I assume you've already filled the folks in on what the stakes are for this game, yeah? Oh, absolutely. The chat is hyped. They they want to see spoilers. I don't know why, but they do. If the chat isn't hyped, we can just end the stream right now. No, 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 no. We're not ending this stream. We're not turning <laughs> this ship around. We are going straight on to the rest of this seed. Craze with some power bombs. When you have JXB and I on commentary, the jokes are going to be there. That's right. The only thing that we won't joke about is our runner skill because both of these runners have great skill being here. Are we in area? We're in a vanilla map, and the side hoppers tell Craze to head right on back to the ship and start over. Oh no. That's unfortunate for Craze. Oh no, am I being too loud? I'll, I'll calm down, uh, Void. Am I better now? Also, Almoxia, the sorry. Fact, the fact that you do not want to listen to the dulcet tones of JXB Adam. No, 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 no. I can. 100% volume. You should be Is... drinking that from your covers. <sighs> No, no, they should not. They should be actually calling it out and making sure the volume's good because we definitely are not here to cause eardrums to bleed. All right, we've got missiles at 230 missiles. Hopefully, uh, we've let us know if we've gotten that, uh, 
We're adjusted, by the way, uh, chat. We we do have uh, the best setup person in the biz, Jestro, who is also tracking for us tonight. We'll go in and adjust the uh, volume on my feed. Yay! All right, J Row heading down to Bomb Terizo is crazed. Once again, returns to the bottom of Ze of uh, Green Brinstar Criteria or Blue Brinstar, whatever these things are, to re reacquire some items and then head back up. Speed booster at Bomb Terizo. That makes things interesting. That is a spicy, spicy pickup. So we have super missiles, we have a vanilla map. We have the speed booster. So the speed booster is our logical access to, well, we also have power bombs. So we can go to wreck ship right now, or we can uh, do this short charge that J-Row is doing and get through these blocks to get down here to Terminator. Double and Terminator. Jump. All right, that's baby's first space jump right there. That item right there will allow J-Row to do one extra jump. Nanuia? Okay, Astro I'll go see if I can adjust my volume. Okay, am I better? No, 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 Lady Nanuya, you are not being loud. Is it better yet? Yeah, no, I think you sound fine, JXP. Well... I also just went in and lowered the sound. Jestro probably looked at it even. Yep. So, and for me, I broke my boom arm. So, I have All my, right. I got my normal stand that's in the middle. So, it's going to be a little bit different playing with the gains and everything. So, we got bombs, power bombs, and a missile pack. Yep. More fall bombs down here at Bryn Reserve. Um... Again, much much apologies to chat. I am not out there trying to blow out your drums. Um... <laughs> Zero, it's like time to buy some duct tape. Is this one of those duct tape fix everything types of things, Zero? It might be. We have a reserve tank up here at the uh, top of Bryn Reserve. And I, th I think we may have one of those... Uh, Oops, uh, everything's broken, sort of, seats, because now we're super quiet. Yeah, I gotta boost, like, I have my headset volume up, I've got the stream volume, whatever. I think the racer's games are a little soft. Yeah, we can boost the racer's volumes a little bit. Um, I'm yeah. not to go in and boost my volume at all. Yeah, that's why Jiro's at 45. That might as well also might explain why we're coming in loud because the game volume is so soft. But anyway, we're back to racing here. We're gonna find some missiles here in Big Pink. What? What? Wait, Adam, I thought we wanted to talk about setup and you know figure out Super Metroid later. Uh, you know, it probably isn't a bad thing. So I hear that one wire goes into another wire, and if you plug one wire into a socket, then you get sound. No. Uh, if you plug the wire into the wrong socket, you just get electrocuted. Oh wait, that's a wall <laughs> no, socket. That, Don't do that. that. That That's plugging your finger into the socket, Adam. Yes. Jeez. Oh, dang it. Uh, and we've got J-Row going to pickpocket Spospo. And uh, Lady Nan Nanuya, if I am saying your name wrong, please correct me. I, I will not be offended. And if you have questions on the question? game, please, please ask. What is your question? speed booster and gravity Rats. suit so if you gambit on gravity congratulations a winner is you pancakes people so. running keyboard versus controllers i think we could technically run so you're you're allowed to do both um i don't believe that there's any penalties or things changed for that um you will see all of the people, all of the top level runners that have all of the world records run on controller, but there are quite a few great runners that run on keyboards, so. 
as far as I know, there is absolutely no restrictions there. Yep. Uh, that I, at least that I've been told. Except turbo. Yeah, of course, you can't have turbo on, but that's anywhere, whether you're controller or a keyboard. We've got the X-ray scope at the charge Chozo. Means microwave could be in play in the seed. So one thing we didn't mention either, double jump is a unique item to dash randomizer only. Double jump allows the racers to execute what looks like a space jump. However, you can only jump once. So you're going to see Jiro if they do it. Basically, space jump once. You hit the button again like for a normal space jump, and that's the next jump, and that's it. It allows you to get to some pretty cool places. Like a cross moat without doing any CWJ shenanigans. Yep. Or, or horizontal bomb jumps. X-ray is another room. Yeah, we've got Justro in chat uh, letting us know all the different rules. Like you can't map left and right to the same key on keyboard because obviously that would be a huge advantage. I thought Gesture was saying no left and right, as in Gesture does not want to see any arm pumping. <laughs> no, if you, if you map them to the same one, you know how fast you can arm pump? Twice as fast as everybody else. It's wicked and not allowed. Fair. Um, arm pumping easy, uh, yes. And arm pumping is a speed running technique that we use because every time Samus does one of those arm put, arm arm pumps, excuse me, red inputs, and then got my brain crossed up. Uh, we are going to advance Samus forward one pixel on the screen, which doesn't sound like much, but if you do it a few hundred thousand times in a seed, that comes out to be a lot. And you actually go faster. You could do that. There's moon falling. There's a bunch of different, you know, basic level speed running strats that does make the game look a little bit different and a little bit faster. So like if you're watching any of the any percent tournament, you're going to see a lot of arm pumping, for example. There are different kinds of arm pumping. If you watch any of Shiny Zenny streams, when when they're in Sierra Station, they do a different kind of arm pumping on the controller to go a little bit faster and stuff like that. So, Jiro, up here at the top of Red Tower, I'm kind of thinking Jiro is going to be headed to the wrecked ship. I believe that's absolutely correct. Uh, there's not much other reason to go up here. Uh, this is just a minor. Um, did get a Chozo E tank down at Alpha Power Bombs. Uh, the seed seems to be telling us that uh, Wreck Ship is the play. It is possible that the play is actually Kraid and down. We'll find out. Yep. Craze Gamer is going to go get their pancakes. Delicious pancakes. Don't put syrup on those. It's actually a suit you're wearing. It would be kind of sticky and awful. Mm hmm I thought you were saying never put syrup on pancakes. I was going to say that's just weird. No, 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 no. I mean, Listen. unless unless you make pancakes weird like I do, where you put syrup in the actual batter. Oh, that sounds good, too. Have you ever had blueberry syrup? Yes. Delicious. It is all absolutely delicious, especially if you like blueberries. Now, if you don't like blueberries, not as much. We have J-Ro going to go up here to Gauntlet and check this Chozo back here. Probably also pick up the uh, miners that are at the back of Gauntlet. So we have a question in chat from Cypher. The item you see in the upper right-hand corner is double jump. Correct, Adam. And that double jump is a dash-specific item that allows one extra jump in midair, which seems kind of trivial, but it puts a lot of different nuances into this game and allows you to make a lot of different choices. And Gauntlet hey, holds our charge beam. That is a huge find for j Row. Yep, yeah, so it is Chozo and Vanilla Charge. So Dash Randomizer has the option of doing three different modes. They have, you have Full countdown, which we'd know, top right-hand corners of the screens, you'd see majors and energy tanks in addition to the 
charge beam damage. There's starter charge, and there's starter plus, and you wouldn't know which one it is until you found one Wait. of the charge upgrades. Hang on, we gotta ask what happened with the prediction in chat. It looks like something funny happened tonight. Oh, we went with beam predictions tonight. That's that's spicy. Yeah, Dimensive is hanging out as the moderator in chat. I don't know. Hi, Dimensive. Also, here's Screw Attack, I believe, at the Spazer location. You got it. As, as J-Row is down here at the Criteria Power Bombs, which are just Power Bombs. Womp, 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 womp. All right, so Jiro gonna head back. Charge Beam is gonna be a massive item. Greatest Gamer is way too far down at the moment to go all the way back just to get that one Chozo item. We'll see if they get it on their way to Torian, but think about this. If you don't find a, a lot more Super Missiles if you're Craze Gamer, how are you defeating Ridley without charge? How are you defeating Mother Brain oh. without charge? You need oh, ammo. No, charge. Charge is uh, one of those things where the earlier you get it, the more it pays off just from knowing you don't necessarily need to pick up all of the ammo. Though if all you get is charge and the other beams happen to be like say plasma at plasma and wave beam at shack tool, all of a sudden your beam damage isn't so hot and you're gonna want those super missiles anyway. And we see J-Row possibly forgetting double jump and just sparking across the moat. That just works. Wanted the swag strat. Yeah, we got another prediction in chat. Will we have Kraid DLC from either of our runners tonight? Now, this is a super spicy prediction because if we're in surprise bosses, we could have not one, not two, not three, but four Kraids. Or it could also be spicy and we could have zero Kraids, which would also be interesting. It looks like J-Row is going to head into the wreck ship and give us our first boss information. This is most likely not going to be enough to tell us what boss mode we're in, but Craze might beat J-Row to the punch. Craze is in a boss room first. It is Crade at Crade. Um, so wow, wow, for purposes wow. of this prediction, the Crade at Crade is what we will use. Sit down, Craid. No DLC for Crazed. Ooh. But we do get a Plasma Beam. So interesting. Too bad we don't have that Charge Beam on Crazed side. j -Row will be excited to find that out. And we have Fantoon at Wreck Ship, so it is feeling highly vanilla tonight. We got a Nintendo Power reference in Twitch chat. Shout out Nintendo Power. Uh, Rambo is a boss, uh, which I think also includes all the mini bosses, reverse and mini boss, something, something. I don't know. The it's a the thing. Uh, the extension categories I don't have memorized, unfortunately. Sorry, Nunia, somebody will you, tell us. Nanuni, if you're thinking of RBO as reverse boss order. And we have Jero taking on the spectral entity known as Fantoon. The space elephant. All right, looks like Crazed is gonna head down into Upper Norfair as Jero has defeated everybody's least favorite boss, Fantoon. Oh, here's F Junk Dump right now. We still have a prediction going. <laughs> it is DLC for Kraid. Uh, your odds are diminished that there will be DLC because j -Row is the only one that can give it to us. Oh, Junk Dump. We were wondering where you were. <laughs> uh, correct. Ooh, nice uh, so, question in chat. Fantoon is the biggest RNG in the game at high level. I believe yes. that to be correct. Yes. 
Yes. If somebody could find a a uh, working Fantoon manipulation, that would really change the highest level of Super Metroid speedrunning. And we have Spring Ball as the boss reward for beating Fantoon, everybody's best favoritist ball, and the key to being able to do Blue Bomber in the escape. Whatever. It's Spring Ball. So, Dimension yes. is right. So, uh, people want to know about, you know, we could talk about the Any Percent tournament and everything. J Rose just going to be making a play through uh, the wreck ship. And Craze Gamers got to check all the upper north here, chose the items. So, here's the deal with Any Percent Fantoon is the biggest RNG boss in the game. Why? Fantoon has three patterns fast, mid, or slow. If you at all watch any of the top level runners, Oats, who got who has world record, is no longer running any percent competitively uh, for world record. Shiny Zenny, Zost, Emmet, any of the big runners, you'll see resets at Fantoon. If you get any kind of mid slow, slow slow, slow mid, fast slow, it's not really optimal. Those are where runs reset. To really be able to comp uh, to get good times to get up there in the leaderboards, you need a fast, fast. And you need a two-round Fantoon. So, that's something to keep in mind as well. So, I hope that answers the question, because Fantoon runs can be very tough. The other piece of RNG that's not Bars RNG when it comes to any percent are the Torian Metroid drops. Because when you're running any percent, usually you're only going in with the required amount of ammunition needed. And if you don't get good drops from the Metroids, then it's kind of in trouble from there on in. But hopefully that helps. So, JXB? Yep. What do you got well, for I was us? just I was just going to say that's absolutely correct. If you the Metroids can absolutely kill a run and that's the most heartbreaking especially if you're at that point cuz you're already, you know, 35 plus minutes into the game. Uh, we did see the ice beam at a uh, wreck ship E tank and the heat reduction for gravity suit has been turned on. Excellent. Another dash randomizer specific. So I do want to correct myself. A zero says you absolutely do not need a fast fast. No, but it's obviously what you would like. Now, if you get bullied by Fantoon, you get slow slow. Fine, you can continue, but it does it it hurts personal best. You would like a fast fast, even a fast mid works. But again, when you're up going to world record pace, it's a little different. Yeah, that's the other thing. MB so in any percent and then we we'll, we I promise we will stick to the randomizer chat. Uh Is a randomizer in any going percent. On? Yeah, this is the, yeah, items are mixed up. Sorry, this isn't any percent. Um <laughs> I know it's hard to tell sometimes with when, when you get an E tank at alpha PBs and super missiles behind. I think super missiles behind might be vanilla, but I don't know all the vanilla items. Uh with M with with any percent you will find a lot of runners will tell you the most difficult boss outside of the Fantoon RNG is going to be MB1, and that's because of turret snipes on ammo, because all you need to do is get one thing, uh, one piece of ammo turret sniped, and you can't uh, defeat MB1, unfortunately, because yep. you go in with absolute minimum ammo. Yep. In the meantime, we have Jero, who has decided to go bowling for us. Uh, bowling! A a good decision here because we have speed booster and what did he peek the uh, item or is he going to go peek the gravity item first before committing i'm He's so confused committed. it was a reserve tank and that was it oh yeah it's a chozo duh hi yeah this is what happens when we talk about any percent too much i keep thinking you know major minor randomization so yeah it was a reserve tank there was no need to commit we don't need another reserve tank we don't hey, adam, we only adam, really want pleasure. one adam adam pleasure hey thank you 
Hi. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I'm Adam. I'm joined by Adam. We're up here in the booth commentating on this match right now as Crazed back at the ship. Uh, most likely going to be heading up. Yep. Going to check Gauntlet. This is going to be good for Crazed. This will get Crazed the Plasma Beam. And once Crazed gets down to Big Pink and gets the Charge Beam location, that pla that uh, X-ray scope will be acquired in the microwave beam. The fully powered microwave beam, not the defrost setting microwave beam, will be acquired. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Adam, I just want to say that our amazing antics have brought us down to negative five, excuse me, negative, uh, what do we got? Negative 10 viewers. Go us! Oh, no, no, <laughs> you're supposed to enjoy the antics. I'm Aww. kidding. I'm totally kidding. Oh, no. Uh, yes, uh, that is absolutely correct. If you do, if a runner does happen to pick up all four reserve tanks in the seed, they will absolutely win the hearts and minds of the people of chat, but they will not automatically win the game. Uh, yes, you yeah, still have to beat me. all the golden four bosses, mother brain, get back to the ship, and that's how it goes. Yep. Twitch chat was giving me crap two nights ago. We were having so much fun in one of the games. I was getting destroyed by Twitch chat. I was getting trolled. We were all having fun. The, the, the sad thing is, I say something that I don't know is right or wrong. Twitch chat might correct me to the wrong thing, and I will have no idea because, again, I start out not knowing if it's right or wrong, so... All right, so this will be interesting to see where Jiro heads. Are you going to head immediately to Low and Orfair? Are you going to Crate? It will be Crate. So some racers, you know, could leave Crate to last. Ridley is the most out of the way boss. Yeah, so at game. this point, I agree with Jiro's uh, assertion because Jiro doesn't know yet what the boss mode is. And we could still have surprise as a boss mode, but yep. it does look very much vanilla with two bosses being vanilla. Still has a chance to be shifted or surprise or shuffled. We don't know yet. Yep, it could be any of the any of them. But J Row also, you know, something to keep in mind. We know as we're watching this and commentating this. Plasma is behind Crate. j -Row already has charge. Does not have to do what Craze Gamer did and go all the way back to Criteria to get Charge Beam. Uh, Crazed has charge in Plasma. Crazed doesn't have X-Ray because Crazed hasn't been down into Brinstar yet. Hey, look, Crazed does have X-Ray. That's what I get for looking at the tracker and not the HUD. Jestro. Oh, no. Did we just catch the first mistake Jestro's ever made oh, oh, on tracking? Okay, okay it's better we're, now. Never we're, mind. We're calling it's out all good. one of the greatest commentators of all time, the one, the only, Jestro Zooks. <laughs> nah, I, I, I will argue that it was marked and we were just waiting for the back end to catch up because, quite frankly, I have seen the tracker do funky yep. things yep. over and over and over again. So therefore, but, uh, not Jestro's fault. Not at all. So Craze does actually have the X-ray beam. Uh, j Row up X-ray beam. Oh my goodness, microwave beam. Uh, j Row about to acquire that. Our prediction has been completed. There is no DLC tonight. Folks, uh, please stay tuned. 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. JXB back with you all on commentary for more English. I mean, Super Metroid. English. Uh, yes, English is a very difficult language and I speak it poorly. Words! <laughs> no, I'm just giving Adam a bunch of crap. So, Crazed Gamer. I, the other thing we should mention, too, if you've never seen Super Metroid before, Super Missiles, if you do, if it's not finishing off Fantoon, it immediately sends Fantoon into a state of rage, where Fantoon stays in one spot at the top of the, of the screen. You cannot hit him. And you have to wait for several cycles to go through uh, launching the, the flames at you. So that's why you see racers sp spam missiles. And then at the end, once they have not counted, they'll launch a super missile at Kray to finish off. Uh, super missile at Fantoon to finish off Fantoon. As I was looking at Jiro's screen, it was in Kray. Yep. 
Yeah, it's okay. I do that all the time with crossing the wires and Words. not the T's. Words are hard. And we have a question from Zero Sierra. Okay, so I know what shuffled and surprise is now, but what does it mean when the bosses are shifted? So the best way for me to describe shifted is it works exactly like shuffled. The bosses will appear in different locations, but the bosses will unlock the location they're in. So for instance, if you find Kraid in the wrecked ship, defeating Kraid will open up the locations in the wrecked ship. Yep. You know what would be even funnier, JXP? And I'm about to give Kip mm. and the rest of the developers an idea. Next oh, no. mystery tournament. You ready? Bosses inverted. They're upside down. Imagine somehow coding no. that. No, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to give that one, one try, Zero. Zero, Kieran. Did I get uh... it? Awesome. Yeah, my apologies. Uh, as I've said many times on comms, I do my best with screen names. If I mess up your screen name, don't feel bad about calling me out and correcting me, even if I do it multiple times. It's not that I'm trying to be disrespectful. I, I really do like to call people by their full screen name if possible. That way, if somebody's watching this race in a very, very uh, distant future on some platform like YouTube, uh, they may still be able to know what's going on because they won't have the chat to read alongside. That's why I also call out the questions. Well, thank you, Lady Nanuya. I appreciate that because I need all the directions I can get because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like that poor golden retriever at the keyboard. And thank you. An inverted game <laughs> where the entire game no, is on Sarah's station. Boss is inverted. We don't want Kip and the rest of the team expanding Sarah's. Please, no. All, all I will say is that recently, and again, we we get off a little bit topic here. We're gonna go Forgotten Highway by Craze Gamer. This is actually a very bold play, and I very much like it. Gonna go through the back of East Meridia here. Um, there was recently a, co a competition for hacks called I think it was called Space Station, where you had to create a hack that had to be I think 20 rooms or less and take place entirely on the space station. So. That's right, I never call him original moth, man. I just call him moth. I'm mean. Uh, is this route faster to East Meridian? No, it's not, but it's still spicy to see because you very rarely see it. Uh, that's why we call it Forgotten Highway. As j -Row in Upper Norfair, find Space Jump at the Speed Booster location. Now, even if Craze Gamer goes and defeats whoever the boss is at Dragon, Craze Gamer still is going to have to go all the way to Norfair and then all the way back to Torian. Jiro is going to have to go lower Norfair to Meridia to landing site. It's a better track. So the one thing I will say here is if Craze Gamer happens to find the Varia suit, that will speed up the Norfair uh, I don't know why Craze was looking at the plasma door. Uh, that's not going to be open until we defeat the boss of East Meridia, which we believe is going to be Dragon in this seed. Though I think Jestro has the best idea for the dash devs that I don't think a single runner will like. Uh, the surprise puts Cirrus Ridley in, where it takes 100 shots to bring down Ridley no matter what. That sounds terrible. And we get super missiles at the wave location uh, for j -Row. And honestly, as long as you put like a little C or something on the screen to indicate you are in Sarah's Ridley, it would be annoying, but at least you'd know what was going on instead of having a confused runner, a confused pair of commentators, and a tracker that's explaining everything. All right, j -Row, done with the wave beam check. I believe has checked all of Upper Norfair. Uh, no Varia suit to be found. 
we will be heading elsewhere. So you'll notice on Jiro's screen as well, do you see in the upper right hand corner where double jump was active before and now it's grayed out? Because Jiro has space jump. That's correct. Space jump will override double jump. If we happen to see the heat shield item, which provides heat protection in upper Norfair and 50% heat reduction in lower Norfair, that will appear where the Varia suit is. That's another dash specific item that has the potential to be in the item pool for the Dash Mystery Tournament. Uh, that one would also be replaced once Varia Suit is acquired. Yep, we haven't seen Varia Suit. Oh. Here's Croc. And I think that's what Jiro's looking for. Yes, I think uh, Jiro is definitely looking for the Varia Suit, and Crazed, I think, is hoping to find the Varia Suit here in East Meridia. I believe Crazed might be making this play to create divergence. And honestly, if you are, if you feel like you're highly, uh, you're, you've got like, you're going up against somebody with a lot more skill or maybe a movement advantage, so doing something to create divergence is your best shot at winning. And I applaud Crazed for doing this. Oh, absolutely. So another thing to keep in mind, is Jiro's got one out. That's it. Croc's got one Chozo location. That's Grapple. That's However, right, isn't it? It is not a quick location either. Nope. However, East Meridio has several. You've got Jack yeah. Tool and Plasma. And of course, the one behind Dragon. And of those three, only one of those is actually a good uh, Chozo location. The other two are way out of the way. Uh, Shack Tool, I think Ice will put Shack Tool in Logic via the Ice Clip. Poyo Ice Clip, I don't know if Poyo Ice Clip is in, in Logic in these settings. High Jump Here's acquired high jump Pajiro. Boots. Those, that's not an insignificant find. High, speed Booster without High Jump provides awkward movement. However, that is not the various suit that J-Row was looking for. Nope. So, here we go. It is, in fact, either Vanilla or Boss Surprise. Absolutely, and I'm gonna just go right out on a limb here and risk all of my non-existent channel points betting that it is Vanilla. Well then. All right, so here we go. Gray's Gamer is going to go ahead and have three opportunities to find Varia. Jiro may just commit to doing suitless lower Norfair. So Jiro does have a fair amount of tanks, would probably like at least one more power bomb pack and one more super missile pack. Again, you not the greatest of beams, not the worst beam, but you definitely want to have uh, some ammo coming out of Ridley to allow for a Crystal Flash because you are not guaranteed E-Tanks in Lower Norfair like you would be in a vanilla layout. And did somebody order some microwave shrimp? Because I highly uh, discourage people from microwaving shrimp and thus Spazer was the reward for microwaving shrimp. I think that reward is appropriate given that microwaving ship shrimp is a terrible thing to do. Uh. The better thing to do is get yourself a grapple beam and then you can electrocute the shrimp, which is way tastier to have crispy fried shrimp. Sounds good to me. And we have j -Row heading right into Meridia after having done Croc. So we can see here, the answer is most likely in East Meridia somewhere. We know it's not behind Dragon, which means it's one of either Plasma or Shack Tool. We'll see if Praise Gamer goes to either. Jiro, wow, fast play into Meridia. Now of the two, I, Jiro, I, I'd say has a slight advantage on movement. Uh, not just slight. I would say it's a pretty huge advantage given the high jump boots. However, uh, 
that only makes up some stuff and hockey admitting that is absolutely the first step to recovery and yes if you microwave fish shrimp or any other type of seafood at work you will become the least liked employee at your job yeah i learned that the hard way don't do that folks don't microwave fish at least at work no Does not leave a good smell no in no your hockey work no hockey don't give people bad information you're gonna get people in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Hockey. It's all good. People forgot afterwards. But it's just like, yeah, don't microwave uh, shrimp. Or don't microwave any kind of fish oh. for that matter. All like, right. Well, at work. Well, lady, Nanuya, Nanuya, I am uh, not repeating that on stream. Sorry. Yeah, that will not. That is not being recorded for YouTube posterity. Uh, Hockey. My apologies. Hockey the response. <laughs> All right. Okay, check one crazy, is going JXP. to be. I'm gonna go it's... Vario at Shack Tool. Yeah. Well, it's. Oh my goodness. Adam, what have you done? What have you done? It's the grapple beam, so if Shaq Tool wasn't in logic before, boy oh boy is it in logic now. Let's go. It has to be Shaq Tool. Because the only other item is... Uh, and it's going to be wave beam at screw attack. Uh, there's also the boss reward behind... Uh, our good friend Riddles. But th that cannot be Varia. It won't be Varia, but Wave Beam could be there. Oh, Wave Beam could be there, sure. Why not? Oh, j almost messaging the finishing off microwave. And that'll... There you yep. go. Dragon it's... down. I'm not sure if you can uh, finish... If you can microwave Dragon with uh, only the 600-watt microwave beam uh, in one round. Maybe, maybe possible, but I don't think I've seen it done. If you thought Adam and I were having fun before, tune in at 10.30 p.m. Eastern for the last Super Metroid Dash Randomizer game of the day. Just wait. If you thought we were off the rails before, just wait to that game. And that is Beep to the Bop versus Lies. That's right here on the main Speed Gaming channel. It will be a blast, and it will be coming up. In the meantime, Crazed, with the puzzle all put together, is heading towards everybody's favorite machine, a tool just doing its job, Shack Tool. It's a tool that can't do its job because there's a wall in the way. Uh, question from Original Mothman. Uh, Varia can't be in Lore and Warfare, right? That is absolutely correct. And Cranop is telling me that a one round is possible. Um, it just, I'm assuming you have to have fast taps. And I don't have fast taps. Tap, tap, tippy tap. Jiro's flying. <laughs> You're going to get people who are going to be, ex we're going to have a whole bunch of employers upset at us because people are going to be tired for work by staying up no, too no, no, late. No. Hang listening on. to the two of us. No, 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 no. They, they can blame hockey for the bad employee of Rice, all right? They can go with the... He, he's the one who says you'll be the most liked person in the office if you microwave fish there. Don't be blaming us. We keep you up late. You microwave fish, that's hockey's problem. Yeah, absolutely correct. Microwaving seafood of any type, uh, definitely a bad idea, either at home or at work, to be honest. Most popular, most liked, whatever. And it's there it is. I was right. You're welcome, folks. <laughs> Vario and Shack Tool, what a seed. Van well, vanilla maps, honestly, vanilla bosses, if... but Vario and Shack Tool. Well, we still don't know it's vanilla bosses. We could find surprise Dragon down in uh, Lore Norfair. Oh my goodness! This is a, uh, this is one of those seeds. Honestly, 
if you wanted to see a super exciting Chozo seed, this is about as exciting as a Chozo seed can get because Chozo seeds are usually very linear because that's just the, there's only so many places to put the items and put the progression. But this one has been a, a very special seed and I will put that special in quotes because we are all having a blast. I am sure the runners, uh, if we had hot mics, uh, w we would be hearing words we're not supposed to have. Probably. I'm having a great time. I've been doing commentary since 2 p.m. Eastern today. I don't think I've stopped. Maybe for a little bit. That's that's a lot of comms. I'm I'm surprised you still have a voice. I'm excited. I'm ready. As I've told people before, I would love to be a, a professional broadcaster full time. So well, there you go. Crazy All right, crazed up. heading into Lower Norfair or Upper Norfair. Excuse me, heading on the way to Lower Norfair. J Ro, that knew what you meant? Begging, just begging Shack Tool to go faster, and Shack Tool is like, nope. I got a job to do. I'm Union. Sorry. <laughs> With Jack Tools in a Union? That's a whole other rabbit hole we don't want to go down. The Shack Tool There's... Union Express. The mo there is the nothing monsters. wrong with being in a union. Oh, by I the agree. Way. It's just the. Oh, I, I 100 percent agree. I mean, we are not going to let the creatures of Planet Zebus unionize. Can you imagine what a headache for Samus that would be. I think it would be more of a headache for uh, Mother Brain. Mother Brain would have to manage all that. Samus just does what Samus does, which is blow up planets. Yes, but just imagine, all of a sudden, new ROM, Samus uh, versus the unionized monsters of Planet Zebus. She gets off a of Sarah station, gets to landing side, gets her morph ball, and the planet wakes up, right? All of a sudden, yes. old Mother Brain room is filled with metal pirates, Baby Dragons and Mini Crades to start. Blue Tower is nothing but Metal Pirates to climb up. And all of the monsters have basically unionized against Samus to make playing the game extremely difficult. You know what? That sounds like you've just described, Adam. What? I'm going to tell you what you just described. And <laughs> Jack's hopefully, having fun with this. And hopefully some... <laughs> Someone out there who has better skills than I do will make this a reality. But you just described Super Metroid unionized as a hack. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. I get 10% of all profits in perpetuity. <laughs> I am I am certainly not sure what OSHA would have to say about that, but workplace Damn. exploding when CEO dies. <laughs> piece of the rabbit holes were going down at like 9 p.m. Eastern. Oh, I love it. Twitch chat's having fun. Jiro and Craze Gamer are having fun. Craze Gamer is looking to play spoiler to Jiro. That is Absolutely. basically the point. And Jiro, already having cleared Upper Norfair, is heading towards Lower Norfair. Uh, so, definitely has a slight lead as you can see room for room j Row ahead and has more e-tanks uh slightly more ammo Cra crazed has to put some uh put the pedal to the metal get some gas going okay maybe we're gonna give hockey a 30 second time out i'm sorry i i took my head off my my head off my head set off that wouldn't laugh okay. How it's how yeah, does the unionization -union fit with the managers. escape sequence and the animals from Grub Junker and just original Mothman with expendable non-union middle managers? And there That's you so go. Bad. That's so bad. Why do you all not like the Edicoons and Dakaras? Why? Okay. I now see why Crazed Gamer was uh, checking Upper Norfair. Crazed Gamer did not have an easy way into Lower Norfair, choosing Space Jump over uh, Gravity Jump, as j -Row is through pillars with a great Wumple Jump into also Worst Room of the been, Game. Also would have been a lot more difficult to do Worst Room of the Game and Lava Dive with just Double Jump. Absolutely, it is possible but I would not recommend it. And a gravity jump, again, without high jump boots, 
probably not would not have worked like I was envisioning it. But maybe a gravity jump with double jump. I don't know. I'm starting to think people are going to like the idea of uh, Super Metroid unionized. Well, at least our our chat tonight does, and honestly, that's the that's the best thing. Uh, we have crazed into worst room in the game as J Row is about to enter Wasteland. I love it. So J Row with plenty of ammo. Again, charge ice plasma. Would really like to see wave to get the ultimate beam combo that you can get in Super Metroid. It's obviously not Hyper Beam. So, we'll say. Jero's not going to go out of their way back and get Wave Beam at, at Screw Attack. If that's no, where Wave is. Jero might check behind... Uh, might check behind uh, whatever boss we find here, if it's Ridley. So, that actually would be another thing... Uh, and I don't know how possible this is, but here's another idea for, for people out there who just want to make things uh, miserable. As we do find Ridley here in Lower Norfair, imagine for a moment a flag rolling on that says you have to save the animals to be able to escape planet Zebus. It's called Games Done Quick Save the Animals Initiative. Or Save the Animals Bonus. Uh, all right, let's see how their RNG is here on Ridley. Jiro, little tougher. Got a good uh, pogo. Jiro got it done as uh, Crazed is heading down. Oh. But Jiro on a mission, looking to go to three and three and enter brackets. Crazed, still hoping to play spoiler, getting into the Metal Pirates. Jiro not even looking behind Ridley. Uh, again, probably that item not enough to make it up for Crazed at this point. All right. Did Jiro even check the item? Jiro did not check the item. Uh, our runners have had our had the second high five of the game. Well, Jiro now is off to the G4. So question in chat, is this an up-down match? Yes, this is a pair-up match. Crazed is one and four, Jiro is two and three. Crazed gamers trying to play spoiler to Jiro to allow Jiro to not make playoffs. Jiro wins this, Jiro will be in playoffs at three and three. All right, Jero heading up Key Hunter stairs as Crazed Gamer is trying to take on the Pelican, succeeding in taking on the Pelican and hopefully soon taking out the Space Pelican. How many times did I say Pelican? Too many. Pelican! There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. We're and the, we're the, pumping the, supers into Ridley. This entire gone off the rails. Need to get it back on Wait. the rails. Jiro through the three musketeers. Yes, I know. We never on what? the rails to begin with. We got what rails? Don't one rail. Don't try it. You cannot contain two atoms in the booth. It doesn't happen. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, crazed. Be careful. We are a little low here. Gonna gonna pop the reserves manually. I like it. I think Ridley is dead. Yes. Craze just like, wait a minute, what is this weak crap? Craze is the one doing all the work. Chat, you're not helping. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pelican. Picked a peck of pickled pelicans. I'm going to shut off Twitch chat now. Getting back to this race. Jiro's going to head up. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to see Jiro make the cut through Everest in Meridia, all the way back up to Redfish to top of Red Green. Yes. At, 
Absolutely, because at this point, J Row is just on an any percent run. So you just take it right, take it right to the end because we have a vanilla map. Yep. So Jiro is ahead by about two and a half minutes, three minutes. Uh, something like that. Uh, it's it's pretty close to insurmountable. Uh, Jiro would almost have to make a catastrophic mistake at the end of the game. Uh, for Crazed to get back into it, unfortunately for Crazed. Crazed is in Wasteland. j -Row up Mount Everest as WX Adam predicted. Do I get a prize? Congratulations, you get a prize. It is one internet point and all the admiration that Twitch chat is willing to give you. Oh, that sucks. I mean, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Do I get a prize? Let's see. Right, I'm just double checking some things here. Oh, have I do have a question game. in chat. Uh, do you know what quote unquote commentator's curse is? Yes, I actually do know what commentator's curse is. And uh, first off, if I somehow curse these runners, uh, that's special because they're actually on a 10 minute delay. Um, I have, however, commented some more live type races and seen some of my hor horrific predictions come true. Enumerating some catastrophic mistakes, sure. Uh, there's only, there's really two things that would have to happen. First, j -Row would have to not take a save going into Mother Brain, which would be perfectly reasonable. j -Row and then... decided to go back to the ship, flies to what the, the Tor Talon 4, reminisce about the good old days, and then back to Planet Zevis. Uh, no, that's yep, not going to work. That okay. would have to happen, but uh, it would also involve a, a death or soft lock, uh, both of which are highly unlikely at this juncture. Gotta love Rando, you don't get to wait for the statues. Thank, thank you, Cranop. Commentator's curse transcends temporal boundaries. This that... isn't Star Trek! Jeez. If it is... And I, I do like I do like that Jestro does remind us that that turret right before Mother Brain is called Kyle, and Kyle would have to snipe a lot of ammo. All of a sudden, j Jero uh, sees this golden... Uh, disc flying at it. Yeah, the only other thing that could happen, and this is something I would not wish on anyone, would be some kind of equipment or power failure. And nobody deserves to have a race go that way, ever. Nope. I thought you meant Sam a suit power failure to the point where it's metric zero mission and you have just a charge pistol. That would be interesting, but I don't think that exists in this game, unfortunately. Nope. So we were actually talking uh, earlier in the best of three I was commentating for the map rando about a potential adding Star Trek sprite pack. P Captain Picard, Commander Worf, Data, Cisco. Be a time clock. An acute, unexpected uh, medical incident. No. Uh, that would be another way, but that would be even worse than the way I was talking about. As j -Row remembering to face right, gonna save those 40 frames. As Crazed Gamer is up Mount Everest and on the way to Torian. All right, Jero. 35 missiles, 35 supers, plenty of ammo, plenty of stuff to go with. Takes the energy refill, plenty of energy. Nope, we're not going to see a stand-up glitch here. Unfortunately, not enough energy tanks to stand up. Also, and I didn't point this out, Crazed is on exceptionally low energy for this. Uh, one of the 
things that you have to remember is this isn't area randomization, so you do not get a full refill. Crazed remembering to stop at the ship. Good job. Yep, yeah, needs. Has the reserve tank as a quote unquote fourth energy tank. So Mother Brain's Rainbow Beam deals 300 damage with the Varia suit. It's a trigger the game looks for. If you have Varia suit, the Rainbow Beam deals 300 damage. No Varia suit, 600 damage. And you have to be wearing the Varia suit. If you go into your settings and into Samus's settings and turn Varia suit off, you will take that 600 damage. Mm -hmm. So while J-Row goes and fights Mother Brain, exclamation point R on the Twitch chat to follow both of these runners, exclamation point C to follow the commentary and tracking teams. What a great race we've had. Praise Gamer at one point was ahead. J-Row was ahead. We've had some back and It's been a really, really good race. Now j Row just needs a clean Mother Brain 2 and 3 fight and a clean escape, and j Row will be the winner. That's absolutely right. j Row, I did not see take a save. However, seems to have this fight well in hand, only eating a few onion rings. Honestly, if you're hungry, onion rings are some, one of the ways to go. Ah, onion rings. Okay, j Row into the catch-up portion of the fight. Can do more dam- can take more damage here, and actually already through. But Mother Brain, a lot more predictable, as Grazed is into Metroid Room 1. see j Row into the cut screen. We've got crazed into Metroid Room 3. All right, crazed gonna go into the baby room no high jump boots uh baby skip is possible but is very difficult if you have not practiced it high jumpless let's see if crazed will go for it i anticipate not but who knows maybe we can get a good surprise here Cutscene finished on the Mother Brain 3. In the meantime, Crazed going down, looking to do a refill. MB3. Very dangerous boss. Hyper Beam makes, uh, makes it a lot less dangerous. But I have seen at least once where MB3 went absolutely crazy and managed to kill a runner. Thank goodness really? this didn't get seen tonight. Yes. Interesting. Like, I don't know what happened with MB3, but MB3 was like hyper aggressive, like stepping forward every single time, lots of shots. Basically got the runner all the way to the corner and just beat him into the corner. It was terrible. Jeez, that's unfortunate. Are we going to see Blue Bomber or no? No Blue Bomber. Ugh. It's okay. Blue Bomber is actually a very difficult trick to pull off. Uh, we make it, we talk about it all the time just because it's a treat to see it happen so rarely. Do you know what's not difficult to pull off the runners? Following them when they switch Following accounts. Them. Make sure you go click the links. Don't just click the links. Click the links, then click follow in their Agreed. streams. And maybe even Right subscribe. side spark. If you so desire. And also, if you if you are willing, please follow the uh, other members of the commentary. WXFan21, Mike Ocom, and Jestro Zooks, our tracker. 
uh, without the two of them, you would be stuck with just me talking, and oh boy, that might not be as fun as you think. We already saw how that went tonight. I mean... Oh, shots <laughs> fired! Oh, J-Ro has hit I'm the kidding. ship. Uh, winning this race, punching his ticket into the playoffs with an official Jeez. race time dot GG time of one hour, three minutes and 31 seconds. Let's get our GG's out for j Row. GG's j Row. GG's. And we're going to get both of these players marked as done. Let's get some post game commentary happening. Here comes crazy gamer. Crazed. Crazed. Crazed GG's. GG's. Thank you. So, all I will tell you is if you happen to have found either high jump or space jump somewhere, you were ahead at Varia. Well, I mean, I did find space jump. I meant on path so you didn't have to go oh. clearing Upper mm. Norfair to get to get your Lower Norfair access. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm pretty sure double jump doesn't clear Lava Dive, so... Um, I went looking for that and luckily it was like right, you know, right there, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Um, the, the hardest part there is, um, getting that first jump. I think you can do it, but you, you still have to do the silly high jump list setup. And we are joined by our race winner, j Ro. j Ro, GG's. Yo, thanks. GG's. Well, that was an interesting seed. What did you all think of that one? A straight Chozo, no area rando, and vanilla bosses. I like the uh, vanilla map. Big fan of that. Uh, I am not a fan of uh, Varia at Shack Tool. Sorry. That sucks. Yeah, you can blame me for that one. When Craze Gamer yeah. was checking Plasma, I said, you know what would be Varia at Shack Tool? Sorry. We wanted it for the content. Well, you saw a lot of it. I think I checked everything but X-Ray. <laughs> you, you checked everything except for... Oh, yeah, X-Ray was the other one. It well, was X-Ray and uh, Screw Attack. Uh, that's because I forgot about X-Ray, so... That's okay. Good yes. thing it wasn't there. So, my thought was, after Dragon, save, because we're going to scum uh, Plasma. And if that's the answer, great. If not, whatever. And I see grapple, I'm like, oh, this unlocks two more things. It unlocks Shack Tool and X-Ray. So I'm like, well, I guess I'm keeping this and I'm going to go to Shack Tool and keep it no matter what it is, because I have to go right to X-Ray because like, I, I don't know the timing, but I'd assume Shack Tool to X-Ray is faster than Dragon to X-Ray. So I'm like, well, I hope it's here. And then it was. I'm like, cool. Awesome. Now I need an item for Lava Dive. So go to go to Norfair and hope it's there and found Space Jump, but Ah, uh, that wasn't enough. I can't remember where I found high jump at. Was it Gauntlet? It was Croc. Croc. Gotcha. Yeah, I was never checking Croc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gauntlet was uh, Charge Beam. Charge Beam, that's right. Cool. I got nothing else for you, Racers. j Ro, you advance into the playoffs with a 3-3 three and three record. Crazed ends with 1-5. Was a really good race overall again. It was a little back and forth in terms of everything you wanted. Just GGs to you both. How did you how did you both feel about the group stage? I'll I'll start this. Um so I didn't hear the last part, but I'll just give my general thoughts on this seed first and then I guess the tournament. Um yep. so on this seed, I died checking meme route because I needed to see if this was area. And once I saw the gray door, I'm like, uh oh, and then just got hit by the side hopper. So throughout the entire seed, I was playing six minutes behind. E even if I wasn't, I was in my mind. I'm playing six minutes behind. You have to make those decisions. So that guided a lot of what I was doing, where I was just like getting the minor checks that were on path but I wasn't going out of my way for things and I skipped bowling entirely. I'm like, we have to commit to something in order to get back into this. So skip bowling, go right to East Meridia out of uh, out of wreck ship and then hope hope everything lines into place because I have to play like I have to do something. Otherwise, I just lose. Makes sense to me. That's a 
solid analysis, actually. Uh, j -Ro, did you have any other thoughts on this seed? Uh, no, it's it's always in the last place you look. It never fails. Uh, I thought maybe going to Meridia earlier would have been a good idea, uh, because we got gravity so early, but... I don't know, you go to Meridia early like that and, and there's nothing. So, just the same old thing. Absolutely. Well, you do get to advance on to brackets, uh, so GG's on that, and good luck in brackets. Crazed, of course, uh, this is your exit from the tournament, but don't think you're forgotten about. You can always come up here and join us in the commentary booth, do some tracking, uh, give us a what's up spark and escape. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, not, yeah, not a problem. I can do that. Yeah, please do, because... I JXB and I are going to get, you know, scolded after this entire race, basically, that there was just a lot of craziness, shenanigans, bad jokes, and apparently bad at the King's English, so might be looking for new two new commentators, because we both might get kicked. I'm totally kidding. Me maybe, but I doubt that. However, <laughs> I, I do hope that if you both watch this back that you find it highly entertaining. Make sure to also pay attention to chat, because... We do like to interact with chat a lot during these uh, matches. Absolutely. And so yeah, with that... Get us out of here. Oh, uh, you want me to get us out of here? Okay. Get us out of here. <clears throat> All right. Well, first and foremost, let's do some things. Uh, if you haven't followed the runners already, give the runners a follow. I'm going to put their links down in chat shortly and follow the other members of the comms team. And then, oh my goodness, well, we can't leave yet because chat, check it out, crazed, doing the thing, saving the animals, making fusion cannon. Let's go. Making fusion cannon. Okay, now. Well, that's what you got to do to make fusion cannon. Come on. Fusion is Everybody cannon. knows that. It's not other M. Oops, did I say that? You did, but that's okay. Uh, I'd also like to send a uh, shout out to Speed Gaming. Thank you so much for putting up with me and WX over here on comms and allowing us to restream on your channels. Without without uh, Speed Gaming allowing us to restream, you wouldn't be able to watch these uh, racers. Also, I'd like to give uh, congratulations to Crazed, who finished with an official race time .gg time of one hour, 10 minutes and 59 seconds. GG's over there. Uh, chat, let's uh, go ahead and get some GGs out for Crazed if you haven't already. Finally, a thank you to Crazed and j -Row for joining this tournament and racing for our entertainment. We appreciate the racers. A special thank you to Jestro, who not only did our setup tonight, but also has been helping track. Uh, without Jestro tracking, we wouldn't have gotten a restream. And with that, I will tell everyone there is one more match tonight at 10.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Beep to the boop versus Lies and Gasoline right here on Speed Gaming Prime. And so, for myself, JXB Adam, my co-com, WXFan21, also Adam, Jestro Zooks, our tracker, and our racers, I will tell everyone, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next mission. Good night.